This video shows a group of men stumbling upon a strange discovery. After digging up the ground, they found something resembling a wriggling surface of a giant pineapple. No, it's not one huge organism, but dozens of turtles stacked on top of each other. In winter, the turtles enter a kind of hibernation, and depending on the species, they can spend several months underground or in mud. In the video, the soft-shell turtles are seen burying themselves in mud, where they stay from late fall until spring. So it could be a group hibernation, similar to what happens with turtles, but mostly it's just guesswork because scientists haven't made any comments on it yet. Here are a couple of facts for you to draw your own conclusions. First, not all turtles sleep in groups, most of them sleep alone. Second, the animals are arranged very neatly, almost as if they had a clear plan, or perhaps this was done by a man. If a person did this, there could be several reasons. In many countries where they're found, especially in East Asia, soft-shell turtles are considered a delicacy and are often eaten. It's likely that people raise these turtles on farms, and it's possible the animals were simply buried during hibernation. Or maybe it's a way of preserving and storing them. Turtles are kept cool to prevent them from spoiling. Weird? Definitely. But breeding turtles for consumption is already an unusual practice. Regardless of why the animals were buried, in both scenarios, the turtles will end up becoming someone's lunch. You know what? Turtles are in danger not only on farms. Every turtle, as it goes into hibernation, doesn't even realize that it might be the last thing it ever does in its life. <laughs> Meanwhile, here's a gentle reminder to hit the like button. Go ahead and do it now so you don't forget. Yeah. Let's start by understanding how hibernation works in turtles. It's not quite the same as what you see in, for example, bears. Turtle hibernation, as well as that of other reptiles, is sometimes called brumation, a kind of resting state during which the body's functions, such as metabolism, heart rate, and digestion, slow down significantly. During brumation, reptiles may not move, eat, drink, or defecate for several weeks. They conserve energy in response to the low temperature and certainly don't gain weight before entering this state. Saving energy isn't enough. Turtles need to find the right spot for winter because turtles are cold-blooded. Their body temperature depends on the temperature around them. Once it drops below freezing point, the water in a turtle's body freezes like any other liquid, causing the animal to die. So the turtle's aim is to find a safe place for brumation. In this case, tightly packed underground mud burrows are a great option for weathering the cold. They're so great that some species return to the same spot every year. It remains a mystery how reptiles manage to survive underground for months without coming to the surface for a breath of air. One theory suggests they rely on air pockets down there. Also, they go through brumation, during which their metabolism slows down significantly, conserving oxygen. Some turtles can even breathe air through their cloaca. Yeah, Turtle Man would be a really weird superhero. So what about collective brumation? Scientists discovered in the 1990s that some turtles brumate closely together in groups, and later studies confirmed this. However, here's the interesting part. Turtles don't huddle together in burrows to keep warm. This is because turtles are cold-blooded, and staying together during brumation, or anywhere else, does not raise their temperature, as it does with warm-blooded animals. In short, turtles cannot warm each other up. So why do these turtles brumate together? Perhaps one reason for this group gathering is to use collective signals that increase the likelihood of coming out of brumation at the same time. Or the available brumation spots might be limited, and turtles brumate in the same burrow in large groups because it guarantees safety. It's interesting that turtle gatherings during brumation are more frequent in northern regions. This adds weight to the theory that brumation spots could be extremely limited. Also, this might have something to do with mating. With more turtles around, there's a better chance of finding a future partner when you wake up. The depth of burrowing depends entirely on the species. Common box turtles, for instance, dig burrows in the woods before brumation, ranging from 4 to 20 inches deep. Even though the site should offer shelter and protection during brumation, these clusters of turtles can pose a threat to the entire population. If the brumation site is found, they'll all die instantly, but we'll get to that in a bit. But here's what I want to figure out for now. Many people keep turtles as pets. Do these turtles also go into brumation? On the one hand, brumation is really important, 
Experts say that if you don't let a turtle brumate, it's more likely to get sick and die earlier. Christy, the happy owner of two box turtles, says that her family has been helping captive-born box turtles go into brumation for more than 20 years. The turtles spend five months underground in a state of brumation before being unearthed in the spring and it seems like the animals are doing great. However, if you look for tips for pet turtle owners, you'll quickly find out that brumating them seems to be unnecessary. They feel quite comfortable in the winter without burrowing because they're not in the wild where the cold would threaten their lives. But you can't go against evolutionary mechanisms. Some turtles get so slow in winter that they stop eating. In this case, it's indeed better to send them into brumation until spring, taking a bunch of factors into account. It might sound odd, but burying a turtle alive is actually a very delicate process. During brumation, a turtle can die if it was sick when it began or had recently recovered. Even something as simple as a cold can kill the animal during brumation. Improper diet can also lead to death. Being underweight leads to death. Being too young also leads to death. Well, you'll definitely need to consult a vet if you don't want to make things worse. They can also help you figure out the perfect conditions for your turtle, which can be tricky. In some countries, there are even special hotels where you can take your pet turtle when you go on vacation. These hotels also ensure that turtles have a comfortable winter vacation and help them safely enter a brumation state. How about turtle farms? Well, brumation is a good thing because you don't have to spend money on food and cleaning for several months. Saves a lot of money, especially when you have a lot of turtles. So for farmers, a turtle that's temporary asleep is much better than one that's awake all year round. However, you might not need to bury them. For instance, these turtles, which are kept on a farm with enclosures and ponds, actually don't burrow at all. They just sleep on the ground and do just fine. Well, at least while they're still asleep. Coming out of brumation isn't an easy or simple process, regardless of where the animal was, above ground, below ground, in the backyard, in the forest, or a turtle motel. As turtles burn through their energy reserves, they accumulate lactic acid in their bodies when there's not enough oxygen. Humans experience something similar, which causes muscle pain after exercising. Turtles find this discomfort just as inconvenient as we do, and to cope with it, they utilize their shell. More specifically, they use the calcium stored inside it to neutralize the acid and to ease and soothe cramps. There are limits to combating the buildup of lactic acid, and towards the end of winter, turtles start feeling rather uncomfortable. Therefore, when the animals emerge from brumation, they often find themselves completely disoriented due to the excessive accumulation of acid and all the related sensations. This is why in spring, turtles immediately seek warmth to accelerate metabolism and rid their bodies of the remaining lactic acid. Lactic acid isn't the only issue turtles encounter when attempting to brumate. Throughout brumation, turtles become so lethargic that you can simply stick your hand into their burrow and pull them out. They won't put up any fight. While it's recommended that people refrain from doing this to avoid harming the animal, predators in the wild don't feel guilty about that. For instance, American mink actively hunt common musk turtles when they're brumating during winter. Though these turtles brumate under the ice in shallow water, the mink isn't particularly bothered by this. In Texas, other types of turtles, especially box turtles, also often fall prey to predators like dogs, foxes, raccoons, and rodents. Predators take advantage of the brumation period to grab a meal, and the turtles can't stand up for themselves. But let's get back to the turtles that looked like a giant pineapple underground. These are Asiatic softshell turtles, and they definitely have their own natural enemies. They're tougher than some rodents because the predators of these turtles include smooth-coated otters and tigers. The natural egg predators of this turtle include monitor lizards, crows, snakes, eagles, and wild boars. Humans, of course, are among them too, although they can't be considered natural predators. In theory, many of these animals could dig up the turtle from the ground. Unfortunately, there's no precise information available on this matter. Maybe turtles are just lucky, as many predators of turtles also slow down during the winter. For example, monitor lizards and snakes. They have better things to do than digging into the ground. After all, they get cold too. Florida softshell turtle, which as its name suggests, also has a soft shell, is also on the menu of herons. The good news is when the cold sets in, herons fly south to warmer climates, leaving turtles without one of their predators during brumation. In Florida, alligators also hunt turtles, and the Florida softshell turtle has evolved to be prepared for this natural threat. These turtles are extremely stealthy, can move quickly on land, and have a powerful bite. Well, they can't truly compete with alligators, but 
During the winter months, when it gets pretty cold in Florida, alligators also go into a brumation. This happens because alligators are cold-blooded. It's handy when your predators share the same vulnerabilities as you do. Though it's not very handy when the place you've picked for a nap is visible to the naked eye, even to a person. They say you can just stick your hand into a hole. Of course, it's important to know the habitats of turtles and the places they prefer to nest, at least in theory. For example, Chinese pond turtles mainly brumate in abandoned ponds or on land. The land brumation spots are usually covered with grass, providing turtles with shelter, protection, and temperature stability during brumation. So knowing all that, it's easy to find the turtle underground or in the water. Since 2007, people in Chiba Prefecture, Japan, have been catching common snapping turtles. If you're wondering what they are, just know they're being hunted for a reason. They're destructive to local ecosystems, eat just about anything in large quantities, and they're aggressive and fierce. Plus, their bite can easily sever a person's finger. However, Japanese hunters have found a way to deal with these turtles and catch them in winter. A hunter simply puts his hand into the pond where he suspects a turtle might be, and it works. This method allows hunters to catch around 300 turtles per year. While this hasn't significantly impacted the population, that's not the point here. Another example is the turtle hunting in Vietnam. When the rare field turtle appeared there in 2015, people didn't bother to hunt for this species cautiously. They just grabbed a bag, a stick, a machete, and chopped everything in their way, overturned every stone and stumped, poked at everything they could, and dug everywhere, just hoping to find the hidden animals. And all because the price of these turtles is too high to spend time being careful. Selling turtles is such a lucrative business that many people abandon what they did and go on the hunt. Villagers in Vietnam often tell stories of someone, somewhere, selling two large turtles weighing almost a pound each for a whopping $19,650. There are plenty of such stories, so naturally, people buy nets and go out hunting. Or is it more accurate to call it fishing? After all, we're talking about aquatic turtles. While most stories about immense prices are based on rumors, that doesn't stop anyone. Turtles are expensive. Now that you've made it to the end, hit the like button, if you haven't already. See you later.